I think I finally got my audio to a point where I like it, at least from what I've heard of it so far, um, playing back my other streams. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know, but otherwise we're gonna stick with this setup. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's all, that's it, that's all. <laughs> Let's just dive right into the game today. Um, I believe I want to be on the left side for Pokemon. Um, yeah, because the map's in the top right corner. I think so. Anyways, we're going to do a shorter stream today. Because um, the mental health needs a break. <laughs> and like, um, as much as I, I love sitting in like I could play games for days with y'all um I need just a little more like time to myself I think today um and you know obviously I'll be taking my rest days tomorrow and on Saturday so we should be good to go again by Sunday and the other thing you'll notice is um I'm playing Pokemon today which, um, usually I'd be playing Assassin's Creed during the week and Pokemon on the weekend. But since I missed last Sunday's stream, I decided I would do an extra Pokemon one, um, today to make up for it. And then... We're gonna do another one on Sunday, and it'll be back to our regular schedule next week. So, yeah, ta-da, that's the plans. Them's, uh, that's how it be, that's how it be. Them's the ropes, or however that saying goes. <laughs> And it looks like um, my audio is coming through nice and clear. You can hear me, and all is looking good. So let's just like let's just hop right into it, shall we? Um, when we left off, we had a little time skip, and we're I think we're gonna be talking to Nimona now about what's uh, where our next steps are. She's so tall, oh my god. We gotta go to the schoolyard. Director's orders. Oh. Uh, the schoolyard. Cool. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Nimona is excited. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. Oh, don't worry. We're definitely doing that. And get to know people, too. <laughs> Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you must always treasure. Might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study, when you return to us as fine young trainers. Ah. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. Why do I get the feeling that, like, the treasure, like, the real treasure will be the friendship we've made along the way? <laughs> That's, like, the vibe I'm getting from this. It's time for the great outdoors. Come on, it's like Lazar, we're riding out. Aw, it's so cute. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules, so we're definitely going there, right? <laughs> 
What are you waiting for, Mitty? Let's go. Yes. Run. I know what I'm searching for. To me, treasure hunting means catching Pokemon. I'm going to fill up my Pokedex for sure. Hell yeah. Where should I go? I wish someone else would just decide for me. What a mood. Decision making paralysis. Been there. <laughs> I'm going to take my Pokemon picnicking in all the best spots around the region. Aw, that's There are lots of different people and Pokemon at the school, and you're part of the variety. Okay. I think that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> the treasure hunt, it's finally starting! What do they mean by treasure? What are we supposed to do? Um... What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a huge part every time. UVA Academy school year? I don't know if I should be calling it UVA or UVA. <laughs> the point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you can help out people in need. You can hunt for real capital T treasure if you want it even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Sure. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? Yep. You can try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'd get you on your way easy. <laughs> I don't know how to say, like, it's like, tch. How's that for student council president giving your own friends an insider advantage? Oh, it's someone, uh... Okay, I didn't realize it wasn't her speaking anymore. Uh, Arvin? <laughs> Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that she check out the gym, so it's up to Mitty wh whether she goes. Mitty's gonna have her hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Boy. Me and her are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. Um, on serio? Don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. It's still up to Midi whether she goes, right? Oh my god, I have to choose. <laughs> hmm, Midi, your phone's ringing. Hey Mitty, Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads and each one's got their own base. I have a feeling you're gonna be able to complete all of these, like, anyway. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out, dot dot dot, from a distance. <laughs> And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. Oh. Team Star bases have been added to your map app. I still love map app. <laughs> it's so funny. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Mitty's problem. That's right, because she's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. Okay, calm down, Arvin. I thought it was up to Mitty to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Mimona and Arvin? 
do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Mitty. But I'm pretty sure I know who, who it is. But anyways, we'll see if I'm right when it gets revealed. When the time comes. What was that all about? Mitty, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try to get dragged into, into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will bring the thing I will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Ooh. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Mitty. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be my, er, my big dream, dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, I want that. Uh, what did you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> it's so cute! Well, you're not getting one. Oh. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it tell you to get on, Vidi? Hell yeah. Press the plus button to jump on to Maraiden. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on the ride and spec, you can press the B button to have it jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button again to get off my ride and then walk. Okay. Cute. Aww. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclozar. As long as you've got Maraidon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. <laughs> cloister? Is that- Is that the name of a Pokemon? Is that why she said it like that? <laughs> hmm, yeah, maybe. Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Mitty is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. <laughs> Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Oh boy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Mitty. The treasure hunt has finally begun. The, this special event is held by the academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all your own. I'm pretty sure that's just like a fancy way of saying, uh, this is an open world game, go do what you want. Oh, uh, use your map to find your destination. Um... Okay, so there's a gym there. Gym here. Or, wait. Yeah, gym there. The search for the open sky titan. Ah, I see. Flaking earth titan. Um, challenge gym. Dark crew base. I think we're gonna start over here. Oh, area two, area one. Oh, interesting. Well, do we start with it like? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just do it in like order. Oh, you can like straight up zoom right out. Interesting. Mm. What 
maybe we'll start just looking around this direction. Um, bug type user is a recommended first stop for anyone considering taking on the Pokemon League. Okay, good. Uh, though sweet as a treat, this baker of bug themed pastries shows a bold streak in battle. Good first stop, eh? I think that's probably good for us too. Yeah, we'll start there. Um, so let's set his destination. And we'll just like head out that way. There are mass outbreaks occurring. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe lots of Pokemon. This is pretty cool. Like, look at us go. We Nimona. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right, Midi? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortando. That's where you'll find the bug-type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Midi. Good luck. I'll call you soon. Cool. We're gonna do some like map exploring because that's my favorite part of open world games <laughs> um try and get more pokeballs and stuff too oh my god what is this oh hello evie <laughs> where did you go my poor bag's full to bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. Oh, okay. Stuff that I gave you. Uh, hey, since we're here, want to have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Sure. So cute. Your Pokemon look like you're all full of energy. Come again anytime. Aw, oh, I thought they were gonna have like a little cutscene of us having a picnic together. That's okay. <gasps> Do I have you already? You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because or I've at least fought you before because I can see what's infected and what isn't. Topia wants to learn to move Aqua Jet. Sure. Um, what does Aqua Jet do? The user lunges at the target to inflict damage, moving at a blinding speed. This move always goes first. Oh, interesting. A shot of water. Leaf attack. Closing less wary, this lowers their attack stats. Um. Ah, 
ask for advice. I want to forget Pound and learn Aqua Jet. Sure! Controls. Um, bag. Oh, I have five Pokeballs, that's good to know. Free itself from paralysis, poison, frozen, frozen. Oh, these are like moves, okay. Trying to learn how to do that again. I'm loving my team so far, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm going with that could be wrong, but uh... we'll stick with it for now. <laughs> Yay! Don't want to learn the move Covet. Should another move be forgotten and replaced with it? Uh, sure, let's see. Okay, so this. The user endearingly approaches the target, then steals the target's health item. Oh, and then, meanwhile, wags his tail cutely, making opposing Pokemon less wary, lowers their defense, lowers their attack. Sure. Let's try. Try new things. Um, was there someone floating above you? Yes, there was. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure I've got you guys 
this already. So let's just try it. Oh. What? You're so cute. Definitely haven't encountered one of you before. <laughs> Your defense rose. Can I try and? you now oh wiggle 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 yeah oh you're so cute <laughs> been added to the pokedex so cute oh nickname yes I think I'm just gonna name you Egg. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> egg. <laughs> uh, type normal. Um, cool. You're so cute. Aww. The egg has been sent to your box. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. I love it. What's down here? The burbs. They're so cute. I love them. Aw, this game's so wholesome. <laughs> it's so much fun to play. What's up? Oh. I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe your rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. Okay. He's so cute. Well, baby. Oh, I don't have like any types memorized yet at all. But I'll get there. Send out to food, switch your Pokemon. Sure. I don't know who's effective against them. Okay. Let's see. That looks a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. 
Critical hit. I'm so disappointed. Don't worry. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. What are you? Smart little olive. Mm, that's a pretty good attack, though. Obviously, we're obviously calling it Olive. I would almost be tempted to call it Olivia. But since we're sticking with the food theme, I'm doing Olive. That is how I spell Olive, right? Like, I even saw it on screen, but I'm so tired. My anxiety's like, you better double check just in case. Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute! So cute! Oh, I send you two of my boxes. Yay! I love them. I love them so much. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. Have I encountered one of you before? Boop. I don't think I have. A Starly. Moose. Is it because they're flying?
Oops. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. What are you? Oh, look! I guess I fought you before. Okay. Oh! Oops. <laughs> Look at you. So cute. I'm so cute. Oh. I'm just too good. <laughs> I'm just too good. like carefully slide down yeah oh oh okay let's try skin <laughs> Someone who is weaker, maybe? Now I have to I have to come up with a name. <laughs> hmm. Have I used chiclet yet? I think I got chiclet from the last time. Chiclet's like those little gum things, right? Um Yeah, we'll do we'll name it chiclet. Like that, Chiclito. No, chiclets for like the gum is spelt. I C L E T. Okay. There. Cute. I'm gonna just yoink that. Thank you. Um, 
Alright, now we might be done battling because they're kind of low on health. Um, so what we're gonna do... Oh! Wait, if I stop and have a, a picnic, will that restore their... Yes. Will that restore their health? Exploring just a bit. I do want to get some story done today though. So we won't explore too much. What is that? What is that? Okay. I'm gonna need some help, bud. Whee! Can I make it over here safely? I think so. Can I jump like yeah! What is that? Crystals. All around Paldea, you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a terror raid battle and try to defeat a powerful terror Pokemon. In terror raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful terror Pokemon. You can battle alongside faraway friends while you're on online mode or nearby friends when you're on offline mode. Oh, these battles will pit you against terror Pokemon with rare terror types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the terror Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. Okay, well, I won't worry about that right now then. We'll, uh, we'll come back to it. Because I'm just, I'm playing like, I'm doing like offline stuff right now, pretty much. Um, but, you know, I'll have, I have friends, I swear, <laughs> to do like the online portion with uh, another time. just run around and collect things forever but I know that wouldn't be very interesting so we'll um we'll start doing like more story oh there it is more story um soon obviously though if I see something shiny like right in front of me I'm like I'm gonna get that <laughs> Like, look at all the... Ooh. Oh, I got you already. Look at all the Pokeballs and stuff. And items. Like, this will obviously help me... There we go. Down the road. Uh, so I'll take, like, a quick second and just collect it now. Although, if you're watching this later, um, the perk of watching the VODs is that you can just skip ahead if you want. <laughs> I seriously, I seriously will not take offense to it. Um, don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty. At any point, it's not entertaining. You can switch it off. Um, you know, I gotta do my thing as much as you gotta do your thing, you know? And at the end of the day, I am just a stranger on the internet. So, it's not your responsibility to... Um... I don't know, watch 100% of my stuff all the time. <laughs> Wanna know the way to one of the 10 sites of Paldea? You're challenged by Sergio, Sergio, the office worker. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Wow. 
one shot. Oh, oh. I thought he was gonna set out another. This is a sight I've never seen. Thank you. Hi, look at them all. Buy Pokeballs? Pokemart, can I help you with something? I'd like to buy. <gasps> I can! I'm good for now. Neat. neat, neat, neat. <laughs> it's like the Animal Crossing light. <laughs> I've been um, reworking my Animal Crossing island, and I'm definitely gonna do like a tour when it's done. But the amount of work that I've been putting into it, oh my god. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, it's been a, like a hot second since I've completely redone my island. Um, so yeah, I can't like I can't wait to show it off. Oh my god, is that a diglet? Diglet, diglet. Proud of myself for knowing that. Um, we can try a water attack. See what happens. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I want to tickle it. Come back. <laughs> might be a little strong. He's so cute. Can I catch you? Like, yeah, I can. I want you. I don't know what to name you, but I want you. Oh, you escaped! I have one escape, that's cool. Alright, come on. That's it, that's it. Yes! Yeah! Uh, okay, give me cool. Don't want to learn the move fight. Okay. Should another move be forgotten? Sure, let's see. 
Um. Ooh. The target is bitten with a vish with vis bleh, viciously sharp fangs. This may also be some may also make the target flinch. Oh my gosh! I can't. I can't talk. <laughs> Approaches the target and steals the item. Growls in an endearing way. That's swearing. Okay, well, we'll see what, what your advice is. Forget growl. You know what? I think we're gonna replace this one. And, like, the reason for that is, yeah, like, Obviously, any Pokemon can have items and stuff. But, um... But I think I'll get more out of being able to, like, have a variety of attacks than, than necessarily that. At least that's what I think right now. Um, would you like to give, give a girl a nickname? Yes. What am I gonna need? Gemma or Nibbles? Gemma. I don't know if it's... I, I don't know what the first one is. But I'm like, I, I wanted something like... I was thinking like takeout, but obviously not that. Um, Something food related though, you know? Um, cause, cause that's like the theme I'm going with is like food related. Yeah. <laughs> Just cause it's funny. Um, name it gravy. Gravy. Yeah, I can see that. High up the Pokedex too. Oh, interesting. Oh. Um. <laughs> Oops. I may have slid just just a bit. Now, what is that shiny thing over here? Figure that out, okay. We're gonna we're gonna start doing some um, investigating now. I am keeping it out I like an eye out for shiny Pokemon, but obviously like I don't know. Oh Diglet! I want the Diglet! Not as effective. <laughs> oh, okay, that's pretty good. We'll do that. If I catch you, I'm naming it Hot Dog. <laughs> yes, Diglett was caught. We are naming Diglett Hot Dog. Because it looks like a little hot dog. <laughs> uh, cute. <laughs> I wanted a diglet for so long. They're just so dorky and cute looking. a lot of Pokemon. I'm feeling pretty good about it. What what on earth are you? You're 
You look like a gingerbread man. Oh. I don't like... Oh. Oh, it's a gimme ghoul. Wait, you can walk with me? I've already used cherries for a new game. <gasps> I'm gonna name it Tomato. Because it looks like a little, little red tomato. Clearly shiny, but why? What is going on here? Or, or there's like a... There's another word. There's a proper term for it. Okay, how to catch wild terra Pokemon. You cannot catch a Pokemon where it's terrestrialized. That's what it is. You need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Okay. But we've already caught a Diglett. Not too worried. Aristalize. That's the, the term. Ooh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Boom. So there can be wild, aerostalized Pokemon. Which I'll be honest, I might call them crystallized from now and every now and then, because that's kind of what they they look like. <laughs> um, terrestalize. Gotcha. Neat. Ooh. Whatever you are, I don't think. Oh, it's just a wheelbarrow. Never mind. <laughs> It was like a bull. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello there. 
a gimme cool coin. I'm so curious. I'm so interesting. That's so weird. Uh, man, I'm having such a good time just running around. But it's been like an hour. I need to I need to like go and actually do something now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for the first gym, but I could always give it a try and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, we can we head over there and try it. Cause why not, you know? I'm just collecting like little extra stuff. Yes, try it. Okay, I will. I'll see. You. Um, what the deal is. What are you? Oh, I have seen you before. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Jigglypuff! <gasps> ah! Let's try and catch you. Yeah! Uh, what do I name? Okay, what do I name the Jigglypuff? Hidden plates to sing a lullaby. It can perform longer and drowsiness. Jello? <laughs> sure, we'll, give it, we'll call it Jello. I think that's a cute name. Jello! Boxes. I love Jigglypuff! Cool. Hey, buddy. You guys are so adorable. <laughs> right. um, jump. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> there we go. God, I'm hungry. Honestly, same though. Um. Can I... I can sneak. I can't. I don't think I can jump. Um... Without more items. Oh my god. What a mood. Um... Yeah, you know what? Uh... I'll go try the gym. Then I'll probably stop for food. <laughs> Maybe I'll make jello tonight, actually, on that note. I'm pretty sure we still have, like, grape jello or something. That could be a nice, uh, dessert. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not, like, super energetic today. Still having a good time, though. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Still up and about? Are you here to rest your tired Pokemon? Yes, please. Then we'll need your Pokemon for a few seconds. Yeah. Quaxley and the rest of your team should be all better now. Oh, by the way, did you know? You can use the B button to crouch. While you're crouched down low in tall grass, it will become harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. If you can get close to a Pokemon without it noticing you and then throw a Pokeball using the ZR button, you can catch it off guard. You'll be able to act first in the battle, giving you a nice advantage. Oh. oh, that's cool. And so, like, there's a food, like, store here. Oh, that's the gym there. Uh. Oh. Okay, wait, what's up here? It 
it's pretty. Oh, look at them just like hanging out. They're so cute. What a bunch of cuties. I don't know what you are, but I want you in the future. Oh. oh. It's like a stadium? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, let's go to the gym and see what we can do. Grape jello, yeah! <laughs> You arrived at your destination. All right, well, let's see if we can do it. It's Nimona! Oh, hey, Mitty. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Sure. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got, got to pass a certain challenge set by them, their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask a lobby staff, staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider me healing up your Pokemon. You obtain three super potions. Nice! You put the super potions in your bag's medicine's pocket. Oh, I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. <laughs> Welcome to the core condo. That's what I'm going with. Jim. Uh, let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Mitty, yes? How did you know that? How did you know that? Great, now in order to face the gym leader, Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cortando Gym, this means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortando. We've held the olive harvest festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your effort should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year too. The staffer over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location on your map app. It's just north of town. Now get out there and have fun. You can make me do child labor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. little pokeballs here they're so cute i thought they were like chalk drawings at first oh they're so cute oh what is that <sighs> try the olive royal roll right here okay Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles and then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Sure! <laughs> it sounds so silly and cute. Great! Put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll 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 away my goodness i forgot how much uh, talking i have to do or reading i have to do <laughs> for these games that's okay Ooh, this looks fun so like i 
getting here? Wait, do I just talk to these people? Beat me, you can take a shortcut here. Oh, whoops. Esmeralda. Oh, you're so cute. Crush wants to learn the move Nuzzle. Let's see what it does first. Ooh! The user attacks by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves the target with paralysis. Okay, block. Um, the user blocks the target's way with arms spread wide to prevent the target from fleeing. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'll worry about that one. need to go that direction, but I just kind of did it anyway. Like... Dorky and cute. Aww. Oh. Oh, there we go. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. <laughs> I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations! Please report. Your results to the lobby staff are at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Cute. 
Pokemon, I guess, first, and then go to the gym. Quaxley! It's not Quaxley anymore! If you select your profile from the map app, you'll find various records from your adventure. You can also check your profile picture and trainer icon. Both your profile picture and your trainer icon can be updated freely by taking photos with the camera app. Enjoy crafting a profile that's all your own. Cute! Alright, let's, uh... Let's go to the gym. Go to the beach, beach. <laughs> Wee. I expect they'll get harder. Like the challenges and stuff. The more it goes on, but this is probably just like an introduction to it. Welcome back, Midi. I hear you were on a roll out there. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. I'm excited. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Katie, the sugar bug? Yes. Let's do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh. Eat up my cute little pavilion. Oh. What a lovely trainer you are. I like her outfit. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling, it was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. I like the color of her hair. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortando Gym right now. <laughs> Forgive me, ahem. My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. You're cute! I like her hair! I want, like, nice pastel hair like that one day. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in fo foliage. There we go. <laughs> Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you'd like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Don't worry, I think we got this. You are challenged by Jim Leader Katie. Oh, I kind of see like the chef design in it too now. That's so cute. Fritopia! <laughs> Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You will be in for a world of pain if you do. Don't worry. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Super effective. Okay, so. Um. Tarantula. Will you switch your Pokemon? We'll keep current Pokemon. I have a feeling like. The flying type um, is effective against bug bite. That's kind of the hint that I'm getting from this. Bug bite! Ouch. Um, 
nasty bug bites. Yeah, exactly. It's making me like itchy. <laughs> uh, Ted Tirsa. Will you switch your Pokemon? You know what? Why not? Let's bring out Cocktail. <laughs> So cute. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Boop. Oh, it's so cute. Um, let's try pet and see what happens. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Are you terrestrializing? You are. Aww, it's so cute! <laughs> oh. bunch of monsters in one turn yes that's against the rules isn't it screw the rules I have money <laughs> On my shining bug decoration. Uh, oh, throw something. A critical hit. You know what? That's fine. I think we can finish you with this. Yeah! Let's go. Gym leader Katie, let's go! Oh, she looks so proud! All of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies. Also a little concerned. <laughs> Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up up to level 25 will be easier to catch. Ooh, and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Ooh, you obtained TM 21 pounds. Gotcha. The user attacks by pouncing on the target, this also lowers the target's speed stat. Ooh, that's neat. Once you've found a TM during your travels, you can use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I had no idea. <laughs> I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. So cute. Off you go then, until we meet again. Aww. That was fun. 
is so cute. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, Mitty. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How to go at the gym, by the way. I passed. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, past me. <laughs> I'm training hard, too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if we run... I'm gonna want a battle? Uh, if we run into each other. I was like, we're gonna want two battles, but anyway. Um, fabulous. Let's go. Um, do I need to rest up my Pokemon again? Yes, I do. Alright, we're gonna go rest them up and then i'm gonna call it there for today because we are at exactly an hour and 30 minutes which is what i was planning on doing um mostly because i'm tired also because i'm really hungry now <laughs> um so yeah let's rest up my pokemon <laughs> me too yeah eh? take it easy and um I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be playing Fortnite tomorrow with some friends I don't think I'll be streaming but um one of them might so I'll post on Twitter if uh if that's the case otherwise I'll see everybody back on Sunday where we'll play more Pokemon Quaxwell and the rest of your team should be all better now Ooh, I went ahead and charged up your Terra Orb, too. Perfect. By the way, did you know? You may sometimes see Pokemon icons on your map. When you do, it means you may be able to find those Pokemon in that area, so try to search them out. Oh, that's awesome. Or did you already know that? Well, I hope my little tidbits come in handy. Come back and see us again whenever you need. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. I'm definitely going to explore this area more when we come back, because I want to find more Pokemon, because it's really addictive and fun. <laughs> oh, what's this? Your Pokemon hurt? When your Pokemon are hurt, heal them. When you see a shop, buy up supplies. Those habits are the key to happy adventure. Okay, it's just like a... I thought maybe this was something unique, but no, it's good. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna... just gonna head off now. Um, and we will play more Pokemon on Sunday. Look at that for Topia Falls. Oh, it's so much fun. Bye. Yeah, bye for now. Oh, do the big stretch too, because I've been sitting like a pretzel for too long. <laughs> Gotta get that posture check, you know. But I did finish, like, my glass of water, so that's good. Anyways, um... Yeah, so if you are hungry, go get yourself a snack because you deserve it. And remember to drink water if you haven't had any water to drink yet today. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining me and thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>